All right, we're in another aisle. This is with spices and oils and things like that. So when we're talking about oils, we want to be doing more like your um, olive oil. In olive oil, you want it to say um, cold pressed as much as you can unfiltered. Um, some oils that I enjoy. And the thing about olive oil is you want to do it more on low heat. So if you're going to saute something a little bit or salad dressings, it's awesome for olive oil. But if you're going in higher heat, you want something maybe like grapeseed oil. It can handle higher heat, and it doesn't have much flavor. So um, that's the nice thing about it. I like toasted sesame oil. I've used it um, when I'm wanting to get a little more flavor into a dish, like a side dish with rice and veggies chopped in it. Another thing I use for salad dressing is toasted, roasted or toasted walnut oil, super with balsamic vinegar. You just get that nutty flavor and it's so good for you. So experiment with your oils and experiment with your vinegars. Um, balsamic vinegar is a little bit sweeter and uh, can give you a little more flavor. Um, also while we're over here, we're going to look at spices. Experiment. This is a <laughs> great place to experiment adding flavor. The one spice I'm going to pull out that's kind of your super spice is turmeric. Turmeric. I just wrote all this down. It's anti-inflammatory. It lowers your cholesterol. It helps with menstrual pain, reduces menstrual cramps and pains, and it also reduces joint swelling. And that's just the start of this. So this is a great spice to add. I have to admit, this is new for me too. You can take this in a pill form as a supplement if you know you don't like the flavor of turmeric. But turmeric is a good, has many health benefits. It's worth adding to your diet.